Welcome to No Master, No Slave. A show that seeks to reveal the hidden aspects of our world. History, philosophy, science, spirituality, and the truth of that which is. No master, no slave. Welcome to No Master, No Slave. I'm Zach, and I'm joined with Mike and Nick. We have a very special guest today, Jay Parker. He's a satanic ritual abuse healer and counselor. Jay spends most of his energy teaching the positive aspects of consciousness with a focus on healing modalities. He is a host of two radio shows, The Center Path and Matrix Warriors, and he is one of the founding members of the Free Your Mind Conference. Jay, thanks for joining us. Well, it's good to be here on No Master, No Slave. I think it's great what the three of you are doing with this uh, podcast to really uh, bring the, uh, shall I say, the true activists and movers and shakers of this uh, consciousness paradigm shift that we're going through right now on the planet. Um, as anyone that actually does some reading and research knows that millions of people throughout the planet are now starting to wake up to the uh, satanic uh, mind control and uh, coming into their own power by uh, research, study, and uh, meditation. And I just think it's great that uh, you guys are out promoting, you know, things like Larkin Rose, Mark Passio, the Free Your Mind Conference. And uh, uh, I just want to tip my hat to you because what you're doing is what is going to change this paradigm. Sitting on your ass uh, saying, oh, woe is me, is not going to save the planet or humanity. Uh, we're in deep, deep uh, doo-doo. We all know this, that the ecology is crashing. Fukushima and the uh, chemtrails, AK geoengineering, you know, are, are destroying the ecology of the planet. And, and we only have a few years left. Uh, if we allow things to continue like this. They're not doing anything with Fukushima, and they're not doing anything uh, to stop the uh, spraying, which is, you know, well over 200, uh, 200 million pounds a year is being sprayed. So we're, we're in trouble. So my radio shows, I have two radio shows, uh, and basically the, the center path worked is is uh mostly consciousness and uh physiology and talking about psychology and and, and things that have been occulted from uh, people's understanding of themselves in a uh, mental and emotional way we haven't seen this information that's being spread on the web about the physiology and emotional uh chemical makeup of the human being has has not been taught in in the world, uh, possibly for, well, absolutely since uh, the time of uh, quote unquote Christ at uh, the A the B C A D line. So it's been over it's been over two thousand years since we've seen this information, and uh, the people who are propounding um, the Gnostic uh, Telestai information that that was sequestered and occulted. Uh, by the uh, Catholic Church and the uh, oligarchs of the uh, old old religion, known as uh, Luciferianism or uh, you know Satanism in general, uh, they destroyed uh, at the uh, A.D. B.C. line, and it it took it took a thousand years through the Dark Ages to really rid the world of people who understood the uh, simple. Uh, bottom line fact with the human race uh, and if you know this you can control the human race and that's the fact that the human race is a programmable species in the first uh, six years of life you can be programmed and uh, 
that's what's going out over the web right now and people are realizing that they can reprogram. Um, you know, we've lived in a society in the West in particular where we've always been told that we're the good guys and uh, we're the shining light on the hill. But in reality, uh, I think in America, uh, everyone that, you know, has half a brain cell rubbing together uh, knows that since our uh, incursion into Vietnam uh, 40 years ago, America is nothing but a uh, empire for the uh, royals in Europe. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I do a lot of work on uh, satanic ritual abuse. I grew up in an Illuminati family. Uh, it took me, uh, I would guess, a good 10 years to uh, rebuild my consciousness once I woke up from my uh, satanic uh, ritual abuse slave program. Probably in 2002, I really b became aware, 2001, 2002, somewhere around there. But it was such a shock to my system, that whole – those two, two, three years from 2001 to 2003 really are kind of foggy in my mind because I was fighting so much – um, suicide programming from the monarch programming because once a uh, programmed uh, satanic ritual abuse sur survivor or uh, minion uh, wakes up from their their uh, I would say um, it's like hypnotism but it's a little deeper than that once you wake up you uh you have in you like a three-month uh, tape recorder that says kill yourself. So I had to fight that. And uh, instead of getting angry, taking the rage of realizing that my life was a lie, and I spent 40 years under mind control from the time I was uh, oh, roughly seven years old to the time I was uh, like 43, something like that. Uh you know, it, it was quite a shock. And uh, when I uh, woke up from the mind control, I was accidentally triggered by a witch. And uh, she was, uh, I guess, trying to get into my programming so she could make me her personal slave. And she uh, used a uh, my mother's primary, uh, um, I would say, programming phrase or word. And so she opened up the file for my programming, but she didn't know what to do after that. And so in the space of a weekend, uh, seven years of satanic ritual abuse and programming that I had been tortured and mind controlled and brainwashed into uh, not realizing that was my life, um, you know, flooded into my mind. And so I took all that anger and uh, the monarch suicide programming from waking up, which is very emotionally stressful. And uh, I decided instead of uh, lashing out at the people I know who did this to me, like my father and mother um, and, you know, some of the people in my family, I, uh, I decided to uh, study as much as I could and become an activist for uh, truth and uh, healing and, and try to uh, make sure this never happened to anybody else. And I've been working at that, and for the, for it took me 10 years to get to the point, you know, where I actually in 2011 uh, went to the Free Your Mind conference and spoke in public. And uh, becoming a friend with Mark Passio, the founder of the Free Your Mind conference, uh, was one of, one of the best things that ever happened in my life. Uh, definitely part of syn synchrony mysticism. Um, I ran into him, and he taught me uh, so much about consciousness. And then, of course, uh, having the internet, uh, there is no reason to be ignorant in the world today. It's a choice. And most people who are still ignorant are not uh, obeying the energy pattern that is now flooding the uh, holodeck here. On uh, planet Earth, so um, so ask me a question because I could go rambling on forever, guys. Sure. Uh, do you want to talk about some of the methods used to reprogram and heal yourself? 
Yeah, I, 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 I really, believe it or not, um, you know, the Illuminati really wanted me to be one of the Rand Corporation guys or else a politician for them because I had, I, I had of a genius IQ, or at least I did. But uh, so they were training me to be one of their, uh, you know, people because – uh, my mother worked as a mind control programmer for uh, the DuPont family. She taught at the DuPont's exclusive school, the Pilot School in Wilmington, Delaware, where, of course, the DuPont's control the state of Delaware. And all the corporations in America are incorporated in Delaware. So uh, if you think Delaware is something other than an Illuminati fiefdom, you're smoking crack. Okay. <laughs> So, so long story short, so there I am in 2002, bouncing off the walls, uh, having, fighting suicide programming, being outrageously angry at, at my family because <laughs> for 45 years of my life roughly, I'm walking around thinking I came from a normal Norman Rockwell family where my father and mother just happened to get divorced. But other than that, it was all Norman Rockwell. And then, uh, you know, coming out, you know, nowhere, out of nowhere, having the files dropped into my conscious mind from my subconscious in one weekend, uh, realizing that I had been raped, abused, tortured, and mind controlled for the first seven years of my life. And so you ask yourself, you know, what, what the hell is this all about? I mean, who in their right mind would even have sex with a baby in a cradle? I mean, you have to be as sick as sick gets to uh, stick your penis in the mouth of an infant in a cradle. Yet my parents engaged in that behavior with me and my brothers uh, quite often. And uh, I know it. You know, I have memories of it. So, so. It, yeah, and it, I remember oh, – I just want to say I remember yeah. listening to that show with uh, Mark, the first show you did with him. Yeah, was, what you went through was <laughs> yeah, very, very intense, very traumatic and just horrible. I mean it, yeah. And I'm, but trying, I mean, I'm telling people this stuff mm -hmm. uh, because there's over 34 million dark occult in America and they're doing this to their children. They're breeding the next generation of fascist and Marxist power-tripping controllers to keep free humanity down. So this is a generational uh, mind control system. So yeah, absolutely. What what I want to talk about, of course, because you are asking me how how do you heal from stuff like this? Well. My my uh, basic uh, you know talks on on uh, the center path radio show I do and the center path is now on uh, Sunday nights on Veterans Truth Network at nine uh, Eastern time at night and I'll be to start that this week and on Veterans Truth. I'm not working with Swami Shivananda Giri anymore on the uh, show. Uh, his uh, his uh, work with uh, people in the uh, Eastern consciousness, you know, he's got a lot of students and stuff, and uh, he, he's decided uh, not to run a shotgun on the show anymore. But I'll probably have him in, you know, as a guest occasionally. Mm -hmm. uh, or have him, you know, Give little talks on uh, tape, and we'll, we'll all air it for him if he likes. But uh, the problem with the human race is this, is that we are programmable. And this information that the human race is a programmable species has been occulted since the time that, you know, Christianity destroyed the ancient mystery religions from uh, 100 to uh, 3, 400 A.D., and uh, Rome went on a campaign, you know, after it be became a Christian empire in uh, at the Council of Nicaea in 325 A.D. Went on a campaign with the uh, Christian Church 
to literally obliterate and destroy all vestiges of the ancient knowledge of the mystery schools and uh, lead the world into a total dark age. And uh, that information has been occulted, but you know, because of recent discoveries of the Nag Hammadi uh, documents of uh, the uh, Dead Sea Scrolls, especially in a re- Eastern religion context, Middle Eastern religious context, uh, we're realizing that what happened at the Council of Nicaea was actually um, the Illuminati taking over religion in uh, Europe and the, and the Mediterranean and turning it into a uh, political uh, you know, mind control system. Because there's really hardly any spirituality in it. It's all emotional feedback and nonsense. Uh, real spirituality is when you learn ethics and natural law and uh, many other things, and you start actually doing those things. Then the universe uh, kind of in your heart and mind uh, gives you uh, enlightenment, and it's actually from obeying the spirit of the universe, which is a, a consciousness where you're on the center path. You're neither a victim nor are you a abuser. You walk the center path. So uh, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm trying to teach people about this whole programming of the human race. And what it comes down to is in the first six years of your life, you have delta and theta brainwave pattern. You can't differentiate anything in coming into your five senses. And up until the age of six, in this delta and theta brainwave pattern, you are basically unconscious. And uh, you are downloading everything as if it was the word of God from your parents, your society, everything you uh, contact. Sit, on, sit a baby in front of a television, that's just being poured right into their subconscious. Um, so you really have to wonder about why people are so messed up and why they're so programmed. Well, many of these children have spent most of their early childhood parked in front of a television that's pouring subliminals into them straight from the Illuminati. So, uh, so they, you know, what used to be uh, a human being is now really uh, due to the uh, culture uh, a lot more solipsist than it ever was. And a lot more programmed. And uh, we're, we're in a lot of trouble that way. But fortunately, you know, human beings do have a heart. And the heart can be triggered to, uh, you know, change its mind. Yeah, I know you're a, also a big fan of EFT. I use that myself. And I've, it's, I'm still looking into it and learning from it. But would you like to touch upon that and explain that to people? How that can help you reprogram yourself and re- uh, release some of that trauma? Oh, well, without EFT, I'd still be a, a – what as uh, David Icke says, I'd still be a man under the moon matrix system. Uh, when, when you go through rich, satanic ritual abuse, every week you're with the cult. Every week you're with your primary handler, which is either your mother or your father. Usually, if you're a boy, it's the father who handles. If the girl, the mother would be the primary mind control handler. And every week you go to the uh, quote-unquote Church of Satan, at least once, sometimes twice a week. And uh, you're raped and tortured. And they use cattle prods, and they use car batteries. And they use defecation, and they use... um, you know, things like on a really uh, big satanic ritual, there'd be like three or four kids there in my cell of, uh, you know, MK Ultra cell. And they would have us in the uh, holding area before they began the ritual. And there would be, you know, four children and a dog. And we'd all be petting the dog knowing that we're about to get raped and tortured. 
and all this crap was going to happen to us. And so we were all kind of like really getting into the fact that the dog's consciousness was like just happy to be around uh, four kids that were petting it. And it was all happy and loving and like digging on the scene. And, you know, after that night of abuse, they would axe murder the dog in front of us and say to us, this is what we'll do to you if you talk. And, uh, you know, when you're, uh, you know, four or five years old, you have to go through that, you know, time after time after time. Um, it really takes your subconscious and just, you know, wrecks it. And with this programming that, and I'm talking about the satanic programming, which is, you know, hard trauma based as opposed to the soft programming, which you get from your culture, which is satanic. I mean, people are now starting to take a step back and say, why are we spending 80% of our budget on war? Why does America have 700 bases all over the world? I mean, what are we doing? And, uh, you know, when 70% of the people in America says, say, I don't want to go into this war, and, and the government does it anyway. I mean, you're just a slave. You're just a, a tax minion. And, uh, you know, there's, there's so much that I'm, I'm working on with my radio shows, you know. But the center path is, is mostly uh, geared to teaching consciousness and teaching the programmable nature of human beings. You can do EFT and you can mitigate any trauma or any programming that has been put in your subconscious. And uh, that's what has made me the man I am today was instead of being involved in the moon matrix, I was able to use EFT, which is a subconscious reprogramming, repatterning modality. And uh, you tap on certain pressure points. And you do some phraseology in your mind, uh, thinking on the uh, pattern of uh, thought that, or emotion that you have locked into you. And um, it'll, it'll change the pattern. You can take bad things out and you can put good things in with Psyche, uh, EFT, Tap and Breathe. There's, there's quite a few different energy modalities, psychology modalities out there. I use EFT because... From my research, it's it's been known to uh, you know work on post traumatic stress disorder the best. And uh, as Bruce, Doctor Bruce Lipton says, uh, EFT will do stuff that psyche cannot do. And uh, having the worst problems uh, consciously that I think a human being can have, I I can tell you, EFT is taking. The patterning that I was under and just thrown it into the trash. And I, I tell the secondary psychopaths out there because that's what happens when you go through monarch or a satanic ritual abuse. You literally become a secondary psychopath because you're not a normal human being anymore. The synaptic pathways in your mind have been warped and the chemistry that you have is, is different than most people as far as chemistry. So, <laughs> yeah, does anyone else want to ask a question? Yeah, I, you also touched on uh, Organite. I know I wasn't really um, too aware of Organite until I saw a YouTube video that you made where you talked about uh, emotional freedom technique and Organite, and that really put that on my radar. And so I started looking into that myself. Did you want to talk a little bit about um, how Organite's helped you and what you do with Organite? Well, I'm really glad you asked me about Organite because. Uh, with, with what I'm tr teaching and trying to share out there, uh, Organite to me from my research uh, is probably one of the things that we can do that's least expensive uh, and most effective in uh, changing the energy of the planet. We are epigenetic creatures and our personal energy affects not only ourselves but the entire human race. And Organite does two things for a person. It protects you from uh, EMF pollution, which is the microwave pollution that we're uh, living with right now. And it also 
it strengthens the etheric uh, field around your body. So uh, the negative spirituality that is uh, bombarding you as an epigenetic creature uh, from these satanic rituals and such, uh, you're protected a little bit. But the uh, EMF pollution uh, is uh, like a sawtooth wave against your cell walls. And so if you don't have organite in your uh, house or uh, on your person, um, you're definitely getting interference uh, to your uh, biology. And there's a, a two doctors. In fact, I have to put this up on my web. And I haven't done it yet. Uh, my website, I'm still building it, guys. And, you know, I've got a few good pages. But let's talk briefly about what I've done with the Organite and uh, what it means to me. Uh, Organite was discovered by Dr. Wilhelm Reich uh, back in the 50s. And what Dr. Wilhelm Reich found out was the entire planet is covered with and permeated with a life force energy, which he called orgone energy. And uh, from where we get orgasm from, believe it or not. And this is, this is, you know, the consciousness, this is the goddess. And uh, it's, it makes up everything. It, it is everything. But this orgone energy uh, can be, heightened and it can be uh, you know channeled with these organite devices so uh, back in uh, the first free your mind conference I did a uh, talk on the organite devices I was making pendants the pyramids the uh, power wands etc with uh, Friedman fly and he put it up on the web and uh, it's been posted and reposted but it's basically been seen by a quarter million people. Uh, there were 100,000 views before it got reposted, and now I think it's around 150,000. So so I have run into people and had people contact me on Facebook and on the web that uh, basically they started organite making when they saw that presentation. They did some uh, investigation on the web. There's plenty of YouTube uh, organite. Uh, YouTube's out there and uh, you know you're protecting your cell walls against the EMF pollution you're strengthening your own personal etheric field uh, I have a great uh, Carillion photography two of them of Kate B. Moon a, uh, a woman who was a shaman in central Pennsylvania and a good friend of mine and the Free Your Mind conference and uh, she took one uh, Carillion photography uh, without any organite on her person. Then she uh, took one uh, holding a, a pendant in her hand. And uh, the uh, etheric field uh, totally changed. In the first photograph, it had some pinks, some uh, yellows, a uh, little bit of orange, and it was uh, blotchy, so to speak. And then it went in the second uh, Carillion photography to a uh, consistent pure uh, light gold. And that is uh, a symbol, according to the uh, spiritual people I know and talk to about this, is uh, being under divine protection and uh, divine inspiration and connection. And uh, that's exactly where her mindset is. You know, to be a shaman and to be going with the natural flow of goddess energy and orgone energy. And uh, so right there in those two Carillion photographs, you, you sh it shows what it has, uh, you know, the effect in the etheric field around your body. And so, you know, I, I'm working on my website. There, there is a, a header for Organite that I have yet to uh, fill the page up yet. That's going to be the next project I do on my website. But my website is, and I should really talk about this for the next like 15 minutes. Uh, in addition to the two radio programs that I'm doing, Matrix Warriors and The Center Path, 
which are both on Veterans Truth Network. Uh, I also have a website called thecenterpath.weebly.com. And thecenterpath.weebly.com uh, is my website where I'm posting YouTubes, I'm posting and organizing the information so that people can go there and instead of uh, having to fish around for themselves, finding the correct YouTubes to change their consciousness or learn about natural law or learn about the new world order and what the occult's doing, I'm categorizing everything and I'm, I'm making it easy for people to change their consciousness, I'm making it easy for people to learn about their physiology and their uh, way that they're, they're programmed in the first six years of life and that if they want a good life, they need to uh, repudiate the uh, enculturalization of the first six years of life, do EFT or some other subconscious repatterning uh, and uh, get their life back because your subconscious is 400 bits of information. Uh, not 400, 40 million bits of information uh, to the field every second. And your conscious mind is 4 million bits of information transferred to the field back and forth every second. So it's a million to one power differential between the subconscious, which you receive from your culture, which is not something you built, to your conscious mind, which is something you built <clears throat> by yourself in the things that you're interested in. But of course, that conscious mind, of course, is also shaped by the subconscious. Subconscious gives you your beliefs, your uh, likes and dislikes. And when you realize uh, that your subconscious runs 95% of your life and your life isn't cracked up to be what you want it to be emotionally, financially, uh, spiritually, then you realize you have to go in there and take the trash out. And when someone goes through ritual trauma like I have, uh, that's a mountain of trash. And uh, it's not only a, a mountain, it's also burnt into your consciousness with a cattle prod. So I can testify that EFT will, dis will take away the uh, patterning that I had because – in, in growing up in a uh, Illuminati uh, family, what they do, they'll do the same or similar ritual on every moon cycle. So you'll have a different aspect of your consciousness damaged on the same moon cycle for years in a row. So that after they stop physically abusing you, once you get your third brainwave pattern at six or seven years old, which, of course, is the alpha brainwave pattern, which is calm consciousness. Once you get that alpha brainwave pattern, you can start differentiating information coming into your mind and decide what you want and what you don't want. But until that time, it's all complete download. So when you start doing EFT, um, whether you're, you know, trauma-based mind control or soft mind control by enculturalization, you can just sit down, you get a notebook, you sit down, what I want in life, what I, is going on in my life I don't want, you know, whether it's emotional, spiritual, financial, bad habits, physically, uh, you know, socially, socially, culturally, you can reprogram yourself. And there's nothing wrong with reprogramming yourself because we are a programmable species. And this is what the oligarchs took away because the only people who are talking about this, except for the scientists and spiritual people today, the only people in the history of the human race that were talking about this were the, the last time, of course, were, were the Gnostics um, back in the time of Christ. And so that's why the oligarchs had to kill them all, because they were teaching goddess mythology, teaching nature religion, uh, teaching uh, that you're a steward of the garden and that you have to have a respect for women 
and a respect for one another and be on the center path in life, neither an abuser nor a victim. Uh, it's just amazing when you, you know, look at talks on my website like uh, Mark Passio's uh, eight-hour presentation of natural law at New Haven, uh, Connecticut. Uh, people in this culture that we have don't even know the two primary pillars of consciousness, the, the uh, masculine uh, aspect of having a right to defend yourself against violence and the feminine aspect, which is do no harm. They, it's not even known in this world. So uh, there's so much to learn, but in my, on my website, the centerpath.weebly.com, I, I did a page called The New Paradigm. So that was all dedicated to the work of Bruce Lipton and uh, Craig Braden. And there are a few talks by Craig Braden and Bruce Lipton that will give you what I would say is 10 years of spiritual and psychological teaching in the space of like three years. I mean – we live in an information age right now where you've got people like Bruce Lipton, a Ph.D. doctor who takes 35 years of understanding of genetics and uh, physics and puts it on a 10-hour uh, uh, DVD set and sells it to you. You can buy it on the web for 30 bucks. It's called uh, Wisdom of Yourselves. You can buy a used one for 30 bucks. Might cost you like forty five to get it directly from him. And that right there will teach you things that have not been known by the human race for two thousand years. And thirty five years of wisdom from being a top shelf microbiologist and researcher. And this changes your consciousness when you know the truth about yourself. None of this stuff is in in his in, in being taught in schools. None of this. I mean, schools are still teaching that genes uh, control life when, in fact, genes don't control life. Energy controls life. So <clears throat> you're wondering, uh, you know, how, how can things change on this world? Well, since we are in a consciousness holodeck, I'm sure of that. I was told that. Uh, growing up in the Illuminati before I rebelled, uh, my mother said the most important thing to the Illuminati is the collective subconscious of the human race. When you take that 40 million bits of information transferred into the uh, field from every human being, each 7 billion human beings, uh, you've got more than enough bits of information to build this reality, you know. So uh, New Paradigm is a great page to uh, learn about EFT. I have like 12 EFT videos. I have uh, Bruce Lipton talking about subconscious repatterning. I have Bruce Lipton uh, talking about, you know, the he's got a video out, which I love right now, which is called The Most Important Message You Will Ever Hear. And this hour and a half talk that he did, is is just astounding in in my estimation. It's just simply astounding, and uh, I'm trying to get people to look at the Divine Matrix by um, Greg Braden and uh, Bruce Lipton delivers the most important message you'll ever hear. But it's on my consciousness page. Um, I did a uh, 20 – on my consciousness page, I did 27 hours of consciousness growth videos. So if you give me two hours a night and you go through these you know, dozen or so videos that are free on YouTube and you uh, start to get into EFT, I can guarantee that you're not going to be the same person in two weeks. I mean there's not many people walking around this planet that can say – Give me, give me 27 hours and I'll change your consciousness guarantee for the better, okay? Yeah, and doing it so all for free too. Yeah, well, actually, I, I do have a donate page, Zach, and uh, 
you know, I, I, I calculated last month how much uh, I'm making, and uh, I'm making a dollar five an hour uh, doing this. <laughs> Definitely not high enough. I, well, people do need to understand that, like, the information that's not being backed up by big, huge corporations is the information that needs to be backed up by people like us, mm-hmm. because that's the important information. I mean, so, on on my website yeah. the other day, I got eight hundred hits. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But I mean, the vast majority of people, you know, I mean, I got I got three hundred dollars in the space of like a month, and mm-hmm. since I'm working about sixty hours a week at this, you know. Yeah, that, I'm just trying to show is. exactly. I'm just trying to show people that you know, if we start coming together and just start giving a little bit to just truth speakers and truth networks like Veterans Truth Network, you know, we really can help help you guys out. Yeah, I mean, I look at Veterans Truth Network, and they're having trouble getting people to pay them three dollars a month to keep their servers running. It's ridiculous. I mean, come on. I mean. You don't want to give me a dollar, uh, Stu Webb a dollar, and uh, you know Professor James Fetzer a dollar. I mean, they're 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 you know they're, you look at the people on the network, and it's a it's a young network. It's only three months old, and there's there's a lot of work being done, and they're setting stuff up. They're going to have TV soon, and they're, they're investing. I mean, lots of money, and I'm just shaking my head. You know, at the fact that there's so many people in the consciousness movement that they'll pay one hundred and twenty dollars a month for cable TV, but they won't pay a a nickel for truth. So Hmm. it's kind of scary, but it's okay. I've got my website. People are starting to listen to me. Uh, You know, I have that appeal. You know, that's what the three hundred dollars that I've received in the, um, the last month. I have an appeal right now. I'm trying to raise 600 bucks to uh, do a cheap knockdown uh, video studios because I should be filming myself and doing uh, PowerPoint presentations like Mark Passio because I, I have a really good way of talking about this stuff that uh, is non-threatening. Yeah, I think you can you can definitely reach a large audience. It's like putting a little milk in the meat. Not everybody's ready to consume the hardcore information in a confrontational way. And I, I really don't think you, that's not the way to go to wake somebody up. You have to talk about health issues first. I mean, the first thing you talk about is fluoride. The first thing you talk about is aspartame. The first thing you talk about is GMO food. You don't, you don't, you don't, you give them information that is basically based on just simple, Power, money, corporate uh, corruption. You don't go beating them over the head about the 34 million pedophiles that are running around America because they can't handle it. Their subconscious is programmed by the state, programmed by the religions. I mean the religions – I mean look at your chess game, okay? Most people know what a chess set looks like, right? Would you agree? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay. Next to the Illuminati king and queen, what do we have on the chess set, gentlemen? The knights and bishops. We have the bishops on both sides. Not the knights. It's the bishops. Because throughout history, it's the bishops that have been the helpers and the advisors of the king and queen. Okay? Just saying. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm, I'm, they're telling you right in your face what's going on, okay? Because oh, yeah. controlling the mind and the heart, you know, is how you control this paradigm. You know, absolutely, and that's what they do with fear in the media. You know, they get you in that reactionary mode, and then you just accept, accept, accept. Problem, reaction, solution. No, oh, absolutely. But it, it, more people have woken up since the collapse in, of the economy in 2007 and eight, as to the political corruption and, uh, and the financial corruption. And, and then we have 300,000 uh, guns being bought every year in America. And uh, it doesn't matter if you know, they keep teaching people in America to have an anti-gun culture. There are 70 million minimum. Uh, patriots that want the Constitution to be obeyed that are arming the living daylights out of themselves. 
and they've been doing it for years now. And uh, 300 million guns each year since uh, 2007. I mean, that's a lot of weaponry. I, I can so, make a personal test. I just went to a gun show yesterday, and it was the second day of a two-day gun show. And a lot of the bulk bullets were sold out. Uh, they were almost sold out of the the lower the lower priced uh, ARs. And there was just a lot of people running. It was an interesting dynamic because you've got some statists that just love the government that are in there. And then you've also got people that are prepping for in case, you know, the government takes this war against us more overtly. And it was an interesting crowd of people. But one thing they all were big on was gun rights. So I think they're going to have a real tough time taking guns away from the hands of the American people. And that's what's stopping them from having lockdown. They cannot do a Soviet Union, Nazi Germany lockdown here because the population is armed. It's the only thing keeping us even remotely free. And uh, I wish people, more people understood that. I don't want to see an open uh, bloody war. I mean people in America have an image of war which is from Hollywood. It's, it's total bullshit. I mean – when you have a war, you don't have water coming through your taps, okay? You don't have – you can't go to the supermarket and get food, okay? It's hell. It's hell. So, uh, you know, these people that are uh, thinking that, you know, they're going to have some kind of insurrection or war and then go down to McDonald's and get a burger, uh, lots of luck with that. So you, you brought up the, the water. I just wanted to plug real quick a very inexpensive way to prepare yourself in case the water does stop running through the tap. On Craigslist, pretty much anywhere in the country, for 15 to $20, you can get 55-gallon um, barrels that – may have just had lemonade in it the day before and fill it up with tap water, seal it off really, clean it out, fill it up with tap water, seal it off really tight. And you can add a little more chlorine to it, but there's already chlorine in tap water. So I've got a, a, my garage looks like a meth lab because of all the barrels I've got in there. And it's just a real cheap way to be prepared with water. Yeah, absolutely. People should be getting 50, uh, pound sacks of, uh, rice and, uh, of beans and stuff and getting ready. It may not happen, but if it does and you haven't prepared it all, you're going to be crying. Yeah, and even just a couple of weeks would just, you know, just destroy people. People aren't even prepared for short-term outages and disruptions. Well, you know, I, I'm at the point from what I've been through in this uh, whole thing is that it, if it does – start to look like 1776, I'm going to move out of the cities and, uh, you know, get in touch with some patriots out, out in the rural areas that I know. And uh, I'm certainly not going to – the cities will be controlled probably by the statists, and uh, the rural areas will be controlled by the freedom fighters just like it was in the first revolution, you know. So getting, getting back to my website, guys, and before we wrap up here, you know, the, the centerpath.weebly.com, I, I've set up a couple of pages like the consciousness page, 27 hours of things that will teach you what you need to know. And then I have the dark occult page, and these are all under the uh, learn banner on my website. So the drop down menu comes on when you hit the learn uh, page. But the uh, Dark Occult page is 33 hours of everything you have to know about. The aspartame, the MSG, the GMO, the vaccination, the chemtrails geoengineering, okay? The uh, mind control through mass media, okay? What happened on in Oklahoma City with the bombing, the false flag of 9-11, and what that means for society? Uh, you know, I, 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 I spent a lot of time picking through all the things that I learned for 14 years, you know, roughly. And, uh, you know, I'm giving you the best stuff I got. You know what I mean? 
One thing I really respect about your work and presentation style, Jay, is that not only are you showing people the dark aspects of our world, but you're at the same time, you're handing them healing modalities and solutions. And that's just so huge. And that's so important. And I just really respect yeah, that. I, I, you know, and it's not all my stuff. It's, it's like, I don't know, people, you know, do this thing where they got their own little niche of good information. And they don't promote anybody else. They don't talk about anybody else. It's just me, 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 you know? Hey, if we're going to change this, people have to go back to being holistic. We have to have a holistic <laughs> attitude towards being a human being and get rid of all this nationalism and get rid of all this ethnicity and all this bigotry. You know, we're humans first. We got one planet and we need to take care of it. And I mean, Fukushima and the uh, geoengineering spraying, it's, it, we may not be here in five years. I mean, 90% of the insects uh, in a USDA study of uh, Southern Oregon and Northern California recently, 90% of the insects were gone. The aquatic and terrestrial insects, 90% are gone. And this is this is a precursor to a total ecological collapse because without those micro insects and the larger insects, the the plants don't eat. They need those mini insects to break down the soil so they can eat readily. And then when you have water, which has nano aluminum in it, there is a amount of nano aluminum that every plant and tree can absorb before it shuts down and dies. And you go out west where they've been spraying for a couple of years longer than they did uh, in the eastern part of the U.S., and everything's dying out there. Why do you think they have forest fires of 550,000 acres out there? One of the most flammable things in the universe is nanoaluminum. You mix nanoaluminum and iron oxide together, you got thermite. You can cut through iron with that and steel. So it's one of the, that's why the fires out west are crazy. All, all over the world, they're having massive fire, forest fires that they've never seen before because of the man made geoengineering droughts and this aluminum pollution. And it, it's going to kill everything. Monsanto has a patented G, uh, GMO aluminum-resistant seeds. They're coming out with a whole line of you know, products where the seeds can grow in an aluminum-polluted soil. I, I want to add one thing to that in case anybody's going to do research on this. I, I dug into that as deep as I could, and officially on Monsanto's website, they say that they do not. But if you do a Google patent search, you can find the patent and you can find a connection between the patent holders and Monsanto affiliation. So they'll do a little dance to make it look like they're not working on it. But trust me, they're working on it. Now, the people like Jeffrey Smith, the experts in this, they know. I mean, you know, there's nothing like a good shell corporation to hide your ass, right? Right. Yeah. So, so on my uh, dark occult, I got 33 hours of awake and aware of videos and, uh, you know, I, I just find that the knowing the negative has only made me work harder for the positive. So I don't, I don't know these people who, uh, you know, say, I don't want to look at this bad negative stuff. It got me off the couch and got me on internet radio and, put me on the center path to uh, improve my consciousness and really fight these dark occult idiots, you know? Now, that's what so it's right now. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, Jay. I was going to say, that's what it should do. It should put fire under people's ass and give them some courage to stand up and fight this stuff. But we got a lot of cowards out there that'll hear negative information, curl up in a fetal position and say, I want to go back to sleep. So... It does I think work. that ties back well into being a programmable species is I think a lot of people will shy away from that or reject that because of the accountability attached to it. 
because if we if if we're programmed and we have the ability to reprogram ourselves and that we're not good. doing that then you know mm-hmm. we're we're still being a part of the problem we're continuing to be an agent of continuing the negativity in the world whereas our power lies in being a programmed species or a reprogrammable species and but with that power comes accountability and a need for discipline and responsibility and i think that's why courageous people will absolutely take up that that sword and that and, and, and join in the effort to reprogram humanity whereas your uh the people who don't have the courage to do that will will shy away from it because of the accountability attached to it. It really uh, – that's why learning natural law and finding out that – and also a lot, a lot of good spiritual teachers out there are saying, well, you got problems with God. Well, no, you don't. God doesn't have a problem with you. The problem's in you. It's your attitudes. It's your screwed up mentation. But, uh, you know – it. I, I know that the good is going to win. Uh, I'm just saying that we're in the photonic belt. We're getting energy from the universe, from the center of the galaxy. That's one of the reasons why, as epigenetic creatures, uh, we're waking up. And you have to look at the information of Bruce Lipton. And uh, I would say the best thing you can do to get on the center path, uh, one of the things that I found helped me the most to understand why and how uh, it's good to work on yourself consistently is Dr. Bruce Lipton's Wisdom of Yourselves. And uh, Greg Braden's uh, Divine Matrix, you have to spend four hours and watch that film. I know it's a pain in the neck, but if you don't learn, you're just a piece of mush for the state. And And you got to ask yourself, is that what you want to be? Yeah, you pay with your time and attention. What do you spend your time and attention on? You can gain so much from this information if you just spend your time, break it up in chunks, small digestible pieces, and, and go through it in a linear progression like you've laid out in your site. You know, that's that's what I'm doing. I'm working on my website the most right now. But, it's coming uh, together nicely, man. Well, I'm working on the library right now, which uh, I've got seven library pages you know, consciousness, philosophy, dark occult, health, earth ecology, history, and uh, science. And so I'm just putting all, all the all the researchers I know about and, you know, the books I've personally read and I know I want to read, I'm going to put up on the website with a live link right to Amazon or whatever booksellers got it. And uh, you'll be able to go there and say, okay, I, I've got the – the money and the time to buy this book and uh, bingo, go to my website, do a couple of clicks and you'll be right there. I, I hope people yeah. find how valuable this is because there's that saying that um, we, we crawl upon the shoulders of the giants who've come before us. And while mm-hmm. you're, you're making a short list here of giants, you know, and a, and a, and a quick access to their shoulders. So you're kind of lining this up for people so that they can spend the minimum amount of time and energy that they have to, to get the maximum amount of important education. I think it's beautiful. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. You just nailed who I am and what I'm doing on this planet. You know, um, you know, I realize that we're in a bad way, but if we come together we're going to win this thing. Absolutely. The universe is not going to let the Illuminati do what they want to do. I know that spiritually. And uh, Greg Braden has said uh, the universe is not going to let the planet be destroyed. So, I mean, we this Anthropos may lose and we may go into a spiritual – our consciousness is, may go into a spiritual hiatus for – millions of years while the planet recovers but you know eventually we will win this thing because the goddess said to the demiurge uh the chief archon that the anthropos which is our species will eventually defeat the archonic forces which is you know good will defeat the devil uh and there's plenty of you know i would say evidence that um, especially if you listen to John Lash uh, talking about this is probably the uh, at least the sixth version of the uh, 
Anthropos. And we've, we've had dozens of uh, civilizations that are worldwide that have risen and fallen. Especially, I mean, just look at the worldwide pyramid civilization, you know? Right. I mean, that stuff didn't happen, uh, you know, 5,000 years ago. I mean, there was a cataclysm in 9600 BC, which is known in the West as Noah's Flood. Okay. And what that was was a uh, supernova fragment going between the Earth and the moon and causing a gravitational field so strong that all the water rose up to the northern hemisphere, almost like the top of a soft ice cream cone. And then as the supernova fragment uh, got further away from the Earth and the moon, it released the water that it had gathered all the way congealed all together and uh it was a 150 foot wall of water and we lost uh 52 genera of animals just in uh, northern america and uh we've been in shock the human race has been in shock since then and uh it destroyed the uh civilization that was there in the world and i i would suspect that most of the human race died in that i mean and with that knowledge being occulted from the human race it makes it pretty easy to manipulate history and uh or even shroud some of that that information in weird religious metaphors or seemingly metaphors to kind of you know um make the information inauthentic in people's minds well, one of the things people are now so – we're getting information that has not been around since pre-10,000 BC. I mean we're being told that our genetic memory does actually affect our consciousness. There's a lot of information that – you know, I, I've got to just get my studio together, guys, and start doing my Mark Passio-type uh, presentations. But it will happen when it's supposed to happen. Um, I just want to say in in closing that my website has got a cannabis section that everyone should see. Uh, I have uh, about – I have like six websites on there and uh, talking about medical cannabis and I've got four websites talking about industrial hemp. If people only knew that in 1937, industrial hemp and cannabis – were made illegal as part of a criminal conspiracy and that these two products are the key to our freedom, you know, in so many ways. So I've got six really good YouTube uh, documentaries on cannabis and I've got, oh, about 12 medical cannabis testimonials, maybe a little more, 16 or so. And uh, I'm asking people to get aware of this you know there's a link to the uh cannabis movie drug law that just came out and for four dollars and 20 cents you can download the movie and uh and you know i'm working it as hard as i can yeah it's coming together nicely a lot of good ways to expand your consciousness heal yourself and learn about the true occulted history of this world it's, yeah, it's looking really and, nice. and I'm doing it simply, you know. My mm-hmm. my web I picked this website one. It's it's free. I don't have money for, you know, hosting and anything. And I I've made it like the USA Today of information. It's as simple and easy. This visually, it's like look at the picture, click it. Okay, we're there. You know, mm-hmm. make it as simple as possible. You know. That's all I'm trying to do. Well, I'm I'm personally using that. Oh, I'm I'm using your site for a lot of resources and go to right now. It's branching me off in a bunch of amazing things. I was invited to give a speech on cannabis at for the Libertarian Party of my county at the fire department um, here in a couple of weeks, and your resource here has been amazing for my data collection for that, and I really appreciate it. Well, that's what it's for. It's it's uh, this change in consciousness and this change politically and industrially, especially there's going to be a cannabis and 
hemp revolution in this country real soon because more and more people are realizing that uh, it was an act of genocide by the government to uh, keep medicinal uh, cannabis from the people. And it was an act of malice of forethought by the people who did the 1937 uh, Marijuana Tax uh, Act, Stamp Act, and also uh, malice of forethought by the Nixon administration uh, hiding the truth about what they found out in their studies. And beyond Canada. that, uh, the whole effort to imprison nonviolent criminals and put people in cages for having plants and growing plants. Oh, absolutely. This is this is uh, Dark Occult 101 here. Now, this is what they do. They take the truth and they turn it upside down. But but it's over for them. I'm, t- I'm telling you, it's over for them. It's definitely a target. An- the target rich environment for ways to wake up, you know, they're deceiving us and poisoning us on so many different angles that if somebody wakes up with health, if somebody wakes up with chemtrails, fluoride, cannabis, you know, there's a lot of ways for people to wake up right now. Well, that that's true. Um, I'm just saying that use EFT and change the mentation in your mind. I mean, that's going to be the next big thing I'm going to do on my website is actually – do a list of things I'm going to ask people to tap on to change their subconscious, um, you know, broadcast. Real and, quick, I don't think anybody has uh, spoken on what EFT stands for. It stands for emotional freedom tapping or techniques. It's uh, emotional freedom technique. And it's a tapping technique, right? Oh, absolutely. It's a, uh energy uh, psychology. On my uh, – New paradigm page under me underneath the home section on my website. I have Jay's seven pages, and I have a uh, page called New Paradigm. And there's a lot of drop down menus and stuff on my website, so you have to scroll over the six main uh, headers. But I have Greg Braden, I have uh, Bruce Lipton, about nine uh, videos, and then I have a a large amount of Gary Craig, which is all EFT. And uh, Gary Craig on his website, I have a link at the bottom of that page. You can go right to it and it's the gold, the gold medal, gold seal of uh, EFT tutorials. And it's all for free because Gary Craig just wants people to, you know, get their life together. Now, he's got some issues uh, personally that, you know, he likes uh, the Course in Miracles and stuff, and I don't. But, you know. Yeah, I just want to jump in. It's all about, you know, everyone's got a piece of truth almost, and you just got to create a tapestry for your own self so you can find the truth and learn about all these different modalities of consciousness. You know, we, we shouldn't throw anyone under the bus because we don't agree with everything they say. If you do that, you won't listen to anything. No, oh, absolutely. And and the thing is you have to be it's it's a mark of an intelligent person to be able to hold a thought in their mind with and and decide for themselves whether they're going to follow it or not. You know? Absolutely. So that, yeah, so that, that's coming back to that whole notion of being accountable and responsible for all your thoughts, emotions and actions and taking up the effort to reprogram yourself enough. You know, and you got to entertain new ideas that may contradict your old belief patterns. Yeah, I, 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 there's so much that it, I've learned in the last 14 years since waking up that I'm going to be working on this website heavy, which is what I'm doing now, probably for the next month or two, just to get the basic bare bones in there and then, uh, you know, go from there. But I don't know anybody else in the world right now that's trying to pull everything together and uh, teach people holistically what they need to know. I just don't know anybody. Everybody out there is is banging their own drum. I mean, what do you think, guys? 
I, I see a lot of that. I see you know, maybe somebody will be focused just on geoengineering, say, and it's almost like there'll be a blinder on and they won't realize how holistically connected this all is. Uh, my response to people who are just hammering the geoengineering, like, we just have to stop that. We have to stop that. It's like, yeah, we do. But that's one of the last things that's going to stop. That's that's something that we have to completely tear down this whole model of dark occult web that's controlling us to stop that. That's not going to stop with petitions. That's not going to stop with protests. That's a way to wake people up to the fact that they have this web of control over us, but we really have to get holistic with our solutions. And I I do see people with those blinders on. And we absolutely have to promote each other's work as well. Jay, you touched on it earlier. It really does raise an eyebrow when a researcher or a a quote unquote truth speaker is not putting forward other people's research that is very effective in healing and and waking people up. So people who aren't doing that either, you know, they might have some mini me Satanism thing going on, or they just are trying to make money. And, uh, you know, which I guess would fall in line with the, with the, with the mini me Satanism. But ultimately if people aren't doing that, they need to start doing that. And if the researchers that they're looking into aren't doing that, they need to maybe do a little bit more research into what these people are about. And I just want to give a quick shout out to the free your mind podcast. I think those guys have a really good way of getting as many perspectives as they can. You know, they, there's no favoritism. It's just here's as many presenters and, and speakers of, of quality information out there and look at yourself and learn yourself through that. Absolutely. Well, uh, you know, with that in mind, you know, I, we've had a little chat here and, uh, you know, <sighs> I'm going to go back and uh, continue to work on my website. I'm working on the library right now. Just trying to fill about, you know, I would say 50, 60 bucks should be uh, good. I've got about uh, 30 in there right now. So, Mm -hmm. just trying to get it together, boys. (laughs) All right, I'm I'm going to take off. Well, you're an inspiration. And uh, to all of us, and we really appreciate having you here and talking with us. So thank you very much, Jay. Yeah, thank you, Jay. Well, thanks for listening to the rambling conversation of me. (laughs) (laughs) It's a stream of consciousness. It just meanders all over the place. Yeah. Well, it comes together nicely, man. It was great having you on here. It's been a pleasure, and we'll do it again, I'm sure. Sounds good. Take it easy, brother. Take care. Thanks. Thank you for listening, guys. Take care. No master, no slave.